So as you may have noticed there's been a lack of videos recently and apologies for that but I was visiting home and while I was there I took the mother to visit Nautilus Aquatics which is in West Yorkshire. This story is actually where she gets a lot of her fish from. Uh, she's got like a little 15 gallon I'll show you that at the end but this is the site when you first walk in. There's a really really cool discus display tank which I think is a 125 and the water's crystal clear. Is it? Yeah, it's a lion fish, I think. Are these in normal water? Like nah, salt water. Salt water. Yeah. Both of them are in salt water. No, no, discus are fresh. As you can tell by that little conversation, my mum doesn't know a great deal about the hobby, but she's going to have some snippets in this video that are pretty funny. But don't laugh at her too much. In the next room, there were then a few sales tanks, and this little display was unreal. Really, really wanted to get this tank. All fake plants and rocks, but it looked really, really cool. There were then tons of other setups for sale. All to show the future potential hobbyist what they could possibly do if they bought this tank. Around the corner there were then some smaller nano tanks for sale, and this is similar to what my mum's got. Really, really cool tank and you can still do a lot with them. Whether you wanted to keep small little dwarf African cichlids or like an angelfish, little tropical community tank, some guppies, some mollies, whatever, but these tanks were really, really cool and I really liked this Rio 300. After we checked out the setups, we went to go look at some of the equipment. Really liked this cool little tank as well. We're trying to persuade my mum to get it, but she didn't buy it. But in this little section, we had loads and loads of sponge filters. Hang on the back filters, internal filters, and that seemed to be the way that the store were going, more with internal filters which personally I don't like as much as I think it takes up tank volume, but personal preference, I guess. Around the other corner, we had driftwood, biomedia, and then some lighting, whether it were normal fluorescence or LEDs. After that, we had some plant substrate, and then all your chemical needs, such as Purigen, Quick Start, and all your other water conditioners. And then some hardscape tools on the other side of the aisle. After that, we then went into the fish and coral section, which starts off with this really cool saltwater tank and then transitions into all the freshwater section, the planted section, and then the saltwater section. And I'll show you that a little bit later on in this video. But firstly, is just a quick look at the plants. I believe there's some anacreas there, some java ferns, and that kind of thing. And then there was a vast array of freshwater fish. And it was at this point my mum decided she wanted another German blue ram, although she thought it was a blue ram. Who knows what she thought, but here we go. We're blue ramming, Reggie. We weren't blue, were we? We weren't blue. We were blue, we were These albino rainbow sharks are cool, though. It's not saying this is funny coloured. I don't like it. This is a funny colour. They've got some electric blue rams here. They're really nice. Where's the electric blue? Right there. Do you see through things? Yeah. Oh no, I don't like that. I know. Oh, my red, you blue, blue, won't it? So yeah, if anyone finds a blue ram that looks like hers, let me know. But moving on, here we have some really, really cool discus. They were quite expensive, but I mean, discus usually are, but there were some really, really nice ones there. Great coloration. We then went over to look at these cool elephant nose and the mother struck again. Still talking about the blue ram. They'll get blue. No, they won't get blue. They do get blue. They're not blue, are they? It's the same. golden rams. There's gold rams and then there's German blue rams. It's both. No, small standard rams, golden rams, mine were blue. I don't think she's ever going to find, <laughs> she's never going to find that blue ram, bless her, she's, she's struggling. But while she was still walking around distraught trying to find the blue ram, we went down to look at some rather large bala sharks, and they're actually an albino in there as well, which were pretty cool. 
We then carried on scanning and saw these dwarf gouramis. Some more dwarf gouramis with some gold rams in that tank. And then back down to some more beasts. And these Oscars was absolutely huge. And they were only 20 quid, which is probably about 30 bucks. But then a miracle. We found something she liked. Got some really nice ones actually. The yeah. colours on this one here. Yeah. See that one? That, yeah, some of them are nice, aren't they? Uh -huh. Oh, too, it is nice. Look at him here. Come down, one. Come down, look at him. Uh, With orange. Little coy angel. With orange, orange face. Mm. Really nice. Sadly she didn't end up getting that one because, well, you'll see later in the video the reason why, but here's the salt water section, which included loads and loads of really, really cool fish. So just around the corner from the saltwater section is the live bearer section. So plies, mollies, and loads and loads of guppies. And after speaking to the owner, he said to get the majority of the guppies from a local breeder, which is pretty cool. As then they don't really have to worry about the fish getting sick in transport as they're only coming from 15, 20 minutes away. But as you can see they had a really nice selection and the pricing definitely weren't bad either. So after the live bearer section we moved on to the miscellaneous and cichlid section. And boy did she love the turtles. You gotta listen to this. Oh they're so cute. Oh they're cute. Look at his little legs. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely won't be surprised if I came home next time and she had a turtle. But now as you can see we're just kind of scanning the aggressive section. Some blood parrots there, some Oscars, and some other South American cichlids. We then moved on to the African section as you can see they've got some pretty cool ones in there. Venustus, blue dolphins, bali eyes, and they also had a Malawi eye biter compressor steps down in this tank as well. And then some other smaller juvenile Africans in these tanks, such as this little Tyran reef. Some rusty cichlids in here. And then some yellow labs and that kind of thing. We then had a few small Tanganyikan cichlids, such as this Bishardi. And these nice juvenile calvus. But anyway guys, that's it for the tour. I hope you enjoyed it, and this was Nautilus Aquatics in West Yorkshire. And this right here is my mum's tank with the little Olaf the Snowman for Christmas time, but that's the reason why she couldn't get that angel fish. That's um, Ronnie, I believe he's called, and obviously he'd pick on the smaller angel fish so we couldn't get him. But anyway, after nearly a 24 hour round trip, I'm home now, so get ready for more videos and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. See you on the next one.
and thanks a lot for tuning in.